My name is Irene Ring. I come from the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig, Germany. Uh, my name is Pat Devine from the University of Manchester. My name is Joan Martinez Alier and I come from Barcelona. Uh, my name is uh, Julia Oslaksen. I come from Norway. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, Peter Söderbaum from uh, Sweden. Well, I'm Fiuke Sekuo from the Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona. Um, my name is Felix Rauschmeier. I'm working in Leipzig. Uh, my name is Catherine Davidson uh, from the University of South Australia uh, in Adelaide. I'm Joros Kallis. I am from Greek. My ecological footprint must be four hectares, I think, <laughs> because I travel a lot. So the footprint is the land you're using and then also the virtual land to capture the carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. So I am afraid that it's not very small. Um, I don't really know what my ecological footprint is. Really, my footprint uh, to come here is quite significant. <laughs> I think it's reasonable. I ride my bike to work, but I do have two children, so my. Uh, my footprint from that perspective um, is probably higher, but I think I contribute to society as well from a social sustainability perspective. So I think if you bring it all in. Ecological footprint, uh, I try to take it easy with uh, cars, I, uh, bicycle a lot, and, uh, but I have my problems with moving to by car to Sun, which is 30, uh, 350 kilometers away to our holiday house, and that is a bit of a problem for me. Okay. Oh, and I'm afraid my ecological footprint is quite high, living in a rich country, having many uh, conveniences of the modern world, yeah, but I, I think about it. And in my free time, I like to be in nature and step as lightly as possible on nature, not to leave any footprint. So at least that is uh, my own way of compensating for my very heavy ecological footprint. I've traveled a lot, though. I think I have a, for sure on the top 10 or 20 percent of this world's population. Although I don't, I don't like the concept, I don't quite agree with the measuring uh, kind of impacts by square meter or square kilometer. But like, I, well, I came by two boats and three trains and it was like about four days of traveling. So it was slow travel, but also kind of low impact travel. It was quite nice, actually. Ecological distribution conflicts. Environmental history, uh, political ecology, uh, valuation, mm -hmm. and then, well, I already said ecological distribution conflicts, but they come in two ways mm -hmm. resource extraction conflicts and waste disposal conflicts. So, you get five. Okay. Um, political economy, uh, urban sustainability, um, sustainable cities. Uh, uh, also, the, what's the radical alternative for urban sustainability uh, and maybe decision-making frameworks as well so, and indicators and criteria. Ecological economics counts for one, no? <laughs> it's one. Political ecology, uh, degrowth, conflict, and coevolution. Biodiversity, ecosystem services, policy instruments, ecological fiscal transfers, and the fifth one would be sustainability. Okay. With multi-criteria analysis, then uh, I work a lot on participatory governance, mostly in uh, governance of natural resources. And now I'm working very much on sustainability conceptual issues, and lately on self-awareness of researchers. Well, happiness, degrowth, Climate change economics, I got five already. For, uh, could also money and finance. I think ecological economics is one, sustainability economics, institutional economics, uh, positional analysis, which is a specific multi criteria approach. Uh, 
those are so I am perhaps a political economic person. I am critical to economic man assumptions. Nature, biodiversity, um, ecological values, human values, mm. science and policy. Political economy. Um, Comparative economic systems, eco socialism, um, sustainability. Okay. How many is that? It's before. Um, Marxism.